Hello, my name is Eli Holt. I go to Holy Ghost Catholic Church in Knoxville, and I attend uh, Conception Seminary College in New York, Kansas City. So there are two things that I'd like to talk about today. One is, um, when did I really think that God was calling me to be a priest? And then two is, what does a typical day at the seminary look like for us seminarians? Okay, so I guess you could say, considering number one, um, that I, I felt called to be a priest when I was about 14 years old. Uh, about that time, I started going to more uh, youth retreats and stuff like that, and I just had this chance for silence, you know, really learning how to do a holy hour. And through that silence, I just kind of started considering this voice in the back of my head saying, hey, I think you should become a priest. And so then after that, I just kind of took one step forward at a time, and then now here I am. Uh, I'm not a priest yet, but I'm here at the seminary, and that's step one. Um, now, what does a typical day at the seminary look like here? Well, when we wake up, we wake up at about 6 or so. We have to start prayer at about 6.45. Um, so we pray a rosary in the morning, uh, we generally do a holy hour, and then we pray liturgy of the hours. After that is breakfast, and um, then we start classes. And that can look uh, like a lot of different things for different seminarians. Um, but after that, uh, sometimes we have mass. Uh, sometimes we'll have mass in the morning, but also generally we'll have mass in the just right before lunch. Um, then after mass is lunch, and then uh, sometimes it's more classes for us. And then after that, we might play sports or we might study or there's lots of different things that we can do uh, during this time. And then after that is dinner um, and then more liturgy of the hours. And then we might hang out, um, might play a few games or something or do more studying. And then after that is night prayer. And then after night prayer, uh, we generally go to bed. So thank you for watching.